We've all been there. We've all done it. We forgot our password. It's a new year and everyone's forgotten their password. It's my job to find it. Hello, hi, Ray here, and today we are playing Admin. It's a game on itch.io where we have to figure out computer passwords. Let's give it a shot. Okay, Admin. Password one, two, three. I feel like that should be easy enough. Oh, I'm in. Oh, there you are. Welcome to Howard Phillips Advertising Agency. We're so happy to have a new member in our family, yada yada. You're late on the first day, kid. You know that's no good, right? Sorry, Mr. Boss. My name is... My name is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Now listen here. You're a new IT guy. That means it's your job to make sure all the tech here is working as it should, right? Well, guess what, kid? You're in for a ride because there isn't a single computer in this office working right now. Can we try turning it off and turning it on again? No, 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 that's not it. They're all in good condition, but something real strange happened. Thing is, since the new year, no one seems to remember their passwords anymore, and a locked PC, good for nothing. We haven't been able to get any work done this week. Hmm, yeah, it must have been a crazy New Year's party here at the office. Well, must have been, can't say for sure, I, I don't remember it. All I care about is that every computer in this office is unlocked by the end of the day. That's your first job. Oh. And we can't afford to lose any data on these computers, so be careful when you're doing your hacking magic stuff, alright? Um, I'll do my magic. Alright, but before you mess anything up around the office, let's test your competence. Start by unlocking my computer. Okay, let's check your bookshelf. Most of the books are about business and administration, but there's one called Dating After the 40s. Okay. Let's see. Let's let's investigate. Nothing on the calendar. Okay. Hmm. Employee of the month. The boss himself. What's the boss's name? Do you remember anything about your password? I told you, kid. It just disappeared from my mind, although I remember something. I wrote down the password. Well, maybe not the password, but a question or something to make me remember it. Try to find that. Trash can. The boss's trash can is mostly full of paper. There's a lot of receipts from a place called Domingo's Pizza. Never heard of it. Crumpled piece of paper. Maybe I should unwrap it. Oh, it's the boss's profile from a dating app. The picture is obviously photoshopped. Why would someone print their dating profile? Well, let's see. Danny DeRude, Jr. 52, regional manager at Howard Phillips Agents Advertising Agency. A gentle and caring man looking for my soulmate. Surf for life. Also, my job pays well. Well, wow, that's incredibly lame. Hmm. Pizza flyer. Flyer from Domingo's Pizza. The phone number and part of the menu are underlined. A bunch of generic trophies and medals, but there's nothing written in any of them. Okay. Picture on the wall. The boss surfing in Hawaii. He almost looks cool. Almost. Oh. Mm. Password question. What's your favorite food and what is your age? Oh. Hold on, hold on. 52. So, pizza 52. Ha, I did it. Welcome Danny to boss. Hey, hey, good job, kid. Now... You only have a dozen computers or so. Get out there and do your magic. No fooling around. Uh, you have until closing hours. Go, go, go. Hey, man. What's up, dude? You new here? Yeah, I'm Timothy from Human Resources. You're fired, by the way. Oh, what? I swear that ain't mine. I mean, I don't even smoke. Um. Wait, you're just messing with me. Dude, not cool. Did you at least record it? No, major bummer. Name's Steve. I'm the most vital person in the whole agency. Without me, no one can work properly. By that, I mean I'm the office boy and I bring people coffee. But right now, the coffee machine's broken, so I'm just chilling. Okay. It's a pizza, but nobody was hungry. Ah. It's a real coffee machine. Despite what Steve has said, it seems to be working fine. Oh yeah, the office refrigerator. The, hot and so the heart and soul of chaos at the workplace. Okay, who needs... Break room computer, okay. Potted plant with a note. There is a sticky note hidden in this plant. Secret do not read. The password to the computer here is a thing my cats love that you can find in this room, Kira. Cool. Pretty comfy sofa. It doesn't help much, though. There's a guy on the news trying to argue that unions are actually bad for workers. Sure. Just like sniffing glue does wonders for your health. I don't want to hint. Calendar. Every day says watch cat videos. Okay. Most of the books here are old and simply weird. 
Looks like the boss bought the cheapest books he could find to fill his bookshelf. At least you try to stay safe. Expires May 1st, 1997. Never mind. A dartboard. I used to love darts. Then I took a dart to the knee. Anyway, no clues here. Wouldn't be an office without a water cooler, right? Insert dollar. I would like some chips. The machine buzzes and whirls a bag of chips is released. It starts to fall but gets stuck in the machine. Mm-hmm. Soda? Okay. Cabinets. There's a funny smelling coming from the supper cabinet. Besides the dust, there are also some small cans, a half-empty wine bottle, a lost remote control, and finally a curious-looking small stack with a cat's face on it. Open it. There's a bunch of weed inside. Well, that explains the smell. Does the cat like weed? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Bottom cabinets. Here we have canned food, snack bar, cereals, a rat. There's a rat in here. There's a funny smell coming from the cabinet. What if I don't open it? No, dumb player. What do you accomplish by not opening it? Really, seriously? You know how hard it is to program a game when you do this? Don't open it. Please do. Just open the bag. This is your last warning. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not finding anything else other than a thing my cat loves that you can find in this room. What does a cat love that you can find in this room? Hey, the coffee machine isn't broken. No, dude. It's a Schrodinger coffee machine. I feel a dumb explanation coming. No, dude. You see, I told everyone the coffee machine was broken and that I would fix it. And I did, but nobody came here to check if it was fixed. So as of now, for everyone in this office, except the two of us, the coffee machine is both broken and fixed at the same time. And there's no way to know which one is true. I'm not sure if it's a dumb or genius. Thanks. I put a lot of effort into being lazy. Hey, hold on, hold on. You anything about the weed in the cabinet? You found my stash, bro? I can share if you need, but just please don't tell anyone. That bag used to contain catnip, so I traded a herb for the other. Perfect hiding spot, right? Yo, the cats be sniffing that sweet kush, am I right? Yo, bro, you bet. Getting, okay. Now, for real, it's fine. Kira got a bunch of catnip in this office already. No one has touched that bag in like a year. But anyway, if you ever really need to chill, come to me. So it's catnip. It's catnip. Because she thinks it's catnip. <clears throat> all right, all right. Yo, dude, you're a tech wizard. Thanks to you, the cat videos are back. Also, if you ever need to search something on the internet, feel free to use this computer. Okay. Hey, are you the IT guy? I was worried you wouldn't come. It's me, the IT hero, here to save the day! Oh no, you sound just like Romero. Well, my name's Julia, I'm the sales representative in this agency, and the guy over there is Romero, he's a bit unique. Anyway, I'm so glad you're here, I have a bunch of work and I really need to use my computer. Talk to me if you need anything. Oh, like Romeo and Juliet. Oh, mere mortal, struck by such sight. You stand in shock, thinking your eyes deceive you. But fear not! I guarantee you this beautiful face isn't one of a demon or incubus, just public relations specialist. Romero's the name. Um, alright, I guess. I'm here to unlock your computer. Do it quickly, will you? I am not used to waiting for other people. It's usually the other way around. Okay. Contact book. Contact book. There's probably the clients Romero... These are probably the clients Romero talks to. Hmm, some of the female names are underlined. Sticky note. Password is most loved one B-Day. Who is your most loved one? Many posters of Julia and many heart stickers. Okay, so what's your birthday? Any progress? I really need to send some emails. Um, so you're my marriage girlfriend, right? Oh, that's a common misconception here, but no, I'm not. I mean, we used to date, but he didn't want anything serious. Weird, even a bit creepy. He never did anything to me, so I guess it's fine. I just don't want any drama. We share an office after all. Plus... As long as he doesn't interfere with my work, he can have any platonic obsession he wants. Soon I'll get promoted and get out of this agency. Whoops, don't tell that to the boss. Yeah, I just need to know what her birthday is. Maybe desperate for clues, but searching through someone's bag is a bit too much. It's the new year, it's, it's the new year issue of Mary Share, a magazine aimed at young adult women. There's a numerology chart inside. 
Aries 4, Sagittarius 5, Gemini 10. Okay. Julia's calendar. Two dates in the calendar. My birthday, 116. Okay, so hold on, hold on. His is 0116. Oh no, he doesn't love her that much. Most loved 1B day. Is it his? Haha, <laughs> welcome sexy guy, 123. Got his computer unlocked. Cool. But he loves himself. I know I'm irresistible, but you have more to do than just staring at me. Julia told me you two aren't even dating anymore. She what? Julia! Okay, you're the IT guy. I don't need to uphold this facade. I don't need to uphold this facade. Kid, let me teach you a thing. Do you know what really attracts a woman? A man's romantic and unconditional love for another woman. Judge me all you want. You still need to unlock my computer. And now get to work and don't tell anyone about our conversation. Okay, I already figured you out. There are several books here of varying genres. Green book. It's Macbeth. The blue one is Catcher in the Rye. The pink one is Pride and Prejudice. There's a note inside the book. Password is Green Book plus Lucky Number. Oh, so if she's, if her birthday is, doesn't that make her a Sagittarius, I think? I have to look, I have to look this one up. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. So, let's go over here. Numerology chart inside Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn 7. And the green book was Macbeth. Juju 3. Got it, Macbeth 7. Oh, you're my hero. Thanks a lot. Now, get out of here. I have work to do. I thought I already did yours. Oh, I did it already. Hold on, hold on. It was 0128. Finally, you may not have the looks I do, but at least you're pretty clever. Not as much as me, of course, but you're still pretty clever. Oh, goodness. Ah. Ah, new face. Welcome, my boy, to the arts room. My name is Vincent, art director, and that lovely, gumpy lady there is Michelle, our illustrator. This room is so tacky. Hmm. <laughs> sure, IT guy. You know all about style, don't you? Anyway, suit yourself, my dear. If you need anything, you can talk to me. Please, be fast. Gosh, it's been ages since I had to rely on pen and paper. So primitive. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Powered. Password. Favorite. Favorite. Color. Favorite. Number. Okay. Why is everything pink? Okay. People think it's an easy job. You just have to... That is just about telling other people what to do, but that's not correct. You have to create it. And then the worst part, realize that people... Didn't properly understand what you told them to do. Oh, so much suffering. Okay, so his favorite color is pink. And his favorite number is nine. So is it pink nine? That was pretty easy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Just standing around. Let's do it again. Pink nine. Magnificent. Splendid work, darling. Splendid. Now, if you excuse me, I have a real job to resume. Ciao. Okay, hers. A Japanese book called Copper Square Race. Bookshelf. But most of the books are about art. There are some sci-fi novels, too. A reproduction of a classical painting by a famous artist. It features naked women, angels, and beautiful sunset. Okay, sketches. Is it a bunch of scribbles? Sketchbook? Maybe I should ask her first. Yeah, better be polite. It's my first day, after all. Michelle, listen, if you're another one of Vincent's little friends, please don't waste any more time. I'm sick enough of having to share a room with that idiot. I don't need another one of his stupid friends bothering my work, so get out. Um, I'm here to unlock a computer. Oh, I see, sorry. I didn't mean to be so rude, but sharing a room with that blockhead puts me so puts me on defensive. Um, okay, I'll just do my job. Feel free to talk to me if you need something. Um Can I take a look at your sketchbook? Hmm, it's kinda of personal. How does that help? Maybe clues inside. Well, I kind of doubt it, but whatever. Go ahead, you can look. And thanks for asking. Vincent always takes my stuff without asking, and it really bothers me. So, yeah, glad you asked. 
Her drawings are amazing. Most of them are atomically perfect drawings of women, but there are also a bunch of spiral doodles. Oh, and there's a note here. I had fun last night. I left a surprise on your computer. Your password is so predictable. Five digits of your special number? Too easy. Hmm. Nothing on the calendar. I see people getting pooped on by flying skunks. Oh, okay, okay. Pen holder. Michelle must have more pens and pencils in her desk than everyone else in the office combined. Um, okay. Why are there so many spirals in your office? You mean the golden spiral? Well, art has a lot to do with mathematics, and the golden spiral is a genomical representation of perfection. Are you familiar with the golden ratio? No, what is it? It's a ratio present in many geometrical forms in nature, and since ancient Greek artists and mathematicians speculate that it's the foundation for every perfect structure of beauty. Represented by the number phi, the golden spiral's growth factor is phi, and I use it in my works. By the way, phi is 16180. Let's remember that. 16180. 16180. 16180. Ah, better than you. Oh. Hey, you did it. I know I was rude to you when we met, but thanks. Guess I don't need to be so defensive after all. I won! That was fun. The puzzles were kind of easy, but it was kind of fun to look around and see what all was in here. That was really enjoyable. If you want to um, download this game, look around, click stuff, figure out the passwords, I will leave a link in the description. If you know of any other fun games you'd like for me to play, please let me know down below. This has been Rhea, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!